So we want to talk about how do we solve paper two Aslam? Like how do we solve multiple choice? How do we approach it? Is there anything special about it? We've talked about this before, but say I'll mention these things again. Because to some people, multiple choices like, yeah, Mr. Easy, pop, 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 A, B, C, وخلاص, we اختاروا, okay, that was helpful. And for others, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's traumatizing. But in order to avoid any of these issues, عايزين بس نتكلم عن how do we approach paper two. First, paper two is all multiple choice. You know that. كلها multiple choice, which means you get to choose being A, B, C, D. حاجة حلوة. لا, مش حاجة حلوة بصراحة. Because there are strategies that you have to use. And if you don't use them, chances are you should give it like 100%. Second, it's 45 minutes for 40 questions. Which means you have about one minute per question. With an extra five minutes for revision. And when I say revision, I mean, and don't forget, you're still going to be copying your answers onto a bubble sheet. If you don't remember what it looks like, let me pull it out for you. And uh, here's an example of a bubble sheet. Open with PDF here. And this is kind of what the bubble sheet will look like. At least the bubbles would look like. Okay. Now, no, there is no extra time given to copy into the sheet. When they say pens down, it's pens down. So that 45 minutes includes the time you need to copy your answers to the bubble sheet. So you need strategy when you're solving multiple choice because you need to copy your answers and make sure you don't forget them. Now, when it comes to answering, obviously, in multiple choice, you need a pencil. So forget your pen, Asla. You don't need it. Just have it just in case they want you to write your name or nonsense, get out of paper. If your names are not already printed yet. And remember that your the bubble sheet is not a circle, but it's a very thin rectangle that you just pull in. Please use a B or an HB pencil. Anything harder tears the paper and anything softer, alas, but smudge. Well, if it smudges too much, and this answer gets a ignored. Keep that in mind. Alas? Yeah, I'll revise the whole bubble sheet thing again, night of the exam, just to make sure you remember. But so now I want to focus on what have been multiple choice questions as they ask them. Yeah. Before I talk about the strategies of how to solve multiple choice, let's talk about one very important feature of paper two. And that is the questions come or are arranged in the order of the curriculum. This is not like the sky if a paper four, it's kind of yani will be how no 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 in paper two they are religiously obsessed with organizing the questions in the order of the syllabus. Yeah, and you can open up every single question, every single exam, and you realize that the questions almost are the same for call every single location. And unit one, which is a vector quantity. So he's talking about quantities. Then here's a speed time graph. Okay, he talks about falling objects like thermal velocity. And then he talks about a density. Here you go. Plus, and then a resultant force and then forces. And what's this? Momentum. And what's this? Energy. And what's this? Energy. And what's this? Energy, work, and power. And what's this? Pressure. And then what's this? Gases. So unit two. And then behavior of gases. Evaporation, all right? E equals MC delta T. Transfer of heat, خلص. heat, unit three, general wave behavior. So this is diffraction. And then what? General wave properties. And then light, whether it's by lenses or whatever. And then light. And then electromagnetic spectrum. And then sound. sound. So what else? Oh yeah, now it's magnetism. The order here is very vibe. It's magnetism, just basic magnetism first. And then, after you're done with magnetism, you have electricity. So regular, you know, current, circuits, resistances, charges, plus circuit components, plus circuits. And then you go back to electromagnetism. So applications like the, you know, uh, 
generator, the transformer, the motor, in that order. So what will produce stronger magnetic field in a solenoid? And then this is the motor effect because I see a battery and wire between two magnetic field, uh, two magnetic poles. I see a transformer and then unit five. So uh, three questions usually unit five. So alpha scattering, ask about radiation, maybe half-life, sometimes four. And then the last three questions are usually now space physics. This is vital. Totally, لي 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 vital, yeah, Mister. Because vital, كلمة إلى. Why is it so vital? Especially for unit one. لما تيجو بتحلو, you start solving things, and 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 you see a question like uh, these are kind of obvious. عارفين كينيتيك إنرجي بتنشأ إنرجي. Like what's power? But then when he asks about what's the final velocity when an object is falling, and then you see the word velocity, and your brain starts thinking, yeah, Mister, I need distance. I need time. I need la. None of that. None of that. Then what do you need? Then what do you need? You need to remember that this is an energy question. So chances are if an object is falling, oh, then I'm converting gravitational potential energy to kinetic. So knowing which chapters are roughly where in the exam, you have no idea how confident you get when you go like, I don't know if I have question seven, but usually in the middle, they give momentum. So is this a momentum? You go like, oh yeah, this is momentum. It helps a lot because it helps your brain focus on what you need to focus. Done. That's the first tip. Second, when solving multiple choice questions, my usual quote is, do not choose an answer. Who people usually take this out of context? You Mr. answer? How do we not choose an answer? That's not what I mean. I mean, don't be a person that opens up a multiple choice question and goes like, Ya Tara, which choice is correct? You don't do that. No. There are three, I would argue four, because the fourth is like a combination of some of three, but there are three general styles of questions. One style of question, right, is like this, or like this, which is what we call a calculation question, meaning you have to calculate. And you're sure, there are answers for choices, but so I don't care about the answers. What is something? I calculate, that's all. What is the power of the pump? And only Oh yeah, medini energy, medini time, and all power is energy over time, and we work it out, and you work it out. I'm working the nafsak, like write down your working, as if you're solving a paper four question, and you're done. Okay, so the moment you see an, a question with calculations, please don't look at the choices. At least don't use the choices to help you out. Right? Uh, the one thing I would argue <clears throat> for looking at the choices is to check the units. If he's changed the unit in any way. And I said, Hannah, for example, all the units were in kilowatts. If I work this out, I tlali in answerable watts, like a big number with lots of zeros. What I'm supposed to do is remove three zeros, so I may a kilowatt, and then I look for my choice in the answers, right? Done. What do you mean if not to scale is not mentioned? Can you assume that measuring things, if he says measure, right? But usually in paper two, we don't measure. Okay. Type. So that's the first type. The second type of question is the theory question, meaning you are given a scenario like this, for example, in question eight. A cyclist travels down a hill from rest at point X without pedaling. The cycle applies his brakes and stops at point Y. Which energy transfers have taken place between X and Y? So without even looking at the choices, you can come up with an answer. Like if this was in paper four, you would say what? 
Oh yeah, energy taking place. Uh, Mister, and the foe is gravitational. Being the top, then it's kinetic. But then you said you apply the brakes. For the brakes, it will heat. For the heat, so you can think of the answer. You can think of the answer. Before you actually get it, before you get to the choices. So theoretical questions like these can easily be thought of before you can answer. Why can a gas be compressed easily into a smaller volume? You go like. Oh, yeah, because gases have very, molecules that are far apart, they have weaker bonds. You can think of what the answer is. choice. So when you look at the choices, you know what to do. Like, let's answer this, for example. Why can a gas be compressed easily into a smaller volume? Oh, yeah, they're far apart. That's why you can compress them. Okay? On a warm day, a carton of fresh milk is covered with a wet cloth. So why does this help reduce the temperature? Oh, yeah. Wet cloth, warm day, reduce the temperature. This is probably evaporation, sah? Either you put the cloth, the water evaporates, the temperature decreases. So that's the second type of question. So the third type of question is this. This is the type of question that does not give you a lot of information. It's a theory question, but <clears throat> it's what I call an elimination type question. And we will like, which statement about the voltmeter is correct? Well, I don't know. There are so many things about the voltmeter that could be correct. But you can't think of an answer in the academic scenario with a question that you can use to think. You're just saying, hey, what's, what's, uh, what's, what's correct about a voltmeter? It measures voltage. I don't know. So then you measure, you look at the rest of things. It has a scale which is marked in amperes. It must be connected in a series in A in a circuit. In series, it should be in parallel. It measures potential difference. Actually, yes, that's correct. It must have three terminals. It actually has two terminals. So you would look at all of the choices and then you eliminate. Wrong answers are canceled out. Right answers are given a tick. And when you're done with all four, then you choose your A. answer. That's how you solve statement questions without context. Which statement is correct? That's it. Which statement about the sun is correct? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff about the sun that's correct. It's hot. It's big. It's heavy. It's got the most mass. Uh, it emits uh, heat, uh, infrared, and visible light, and ultraviolet. Uh, there is nuclear fusion. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's correct. But the third time, you have to look at through, through all of them and eliminate. The fourth type, the Mr. and the three. Oh, look, yeah, the fourth type is a mixture of all the previous three. The ma'anaba. He chooses a concept of these, and then he gives you multiple answers. And I don't mean A, B, C. I mean a table. So the fourth type of question is a table question. Why do I consider that a different type? Because table questions actually ask you multiple questions for nafsil question. Because each column is a separate answer. Like for example, here you go. Alpha scattering, uh, an alpha scattering, alpha particles incident on a thin metal foil, which row describes the results from the experiment and the conclusion that result re leads into. So what do you have to do? Oh yeah, then column da. Answer this. See which answer or answers is correct, and then look at the next one. See which answer or answers are correct, and then see which one has both of them correct. So table questions are like multiple questions at the same time. This one, for example, Anas, which row gives a possible set of values for the speed of sound through mercury? Through frozen mercury, liquid mercury, okay. That. So you look at these, and then you look at these, and then you look at these, and you choose. Hey, can it be higher? Can it be lower? Can it be? In a permanent magnet, is it iron or steel? Oh, yeah, probably steel. How about, about the core of an electromagnet? Oh, yeah, that works with iron. So my answer is D. You have to look at each column separately, and you answer. And usually, questions with columns are usually solved with this method بحب أقول four two one usually not all of them it's usually as the eight forty one as then usually when he gives you a table 
from the first column, you have four choices. You're going to choose two of them that are correct. Usually, you have two. Like, for example, which is the liquid at the top, X or Y? So you got to choose. So you're not actually choosing between A, B, C, D. You're choosing between A, B, and C, D. Let's say, here, you have liquid X and Y and Z. The liquids are placed in the same container. The liquids do not mix. Which liquid is at the top of the container? Which liquid is at the bottom of the container? By the way, this is a mixed question. Because you actually have to calculate the density. You calculate the density, and then you look at the table. So you choose, oh yeah, uh, top of the container, the less dense liquid. Which one of them is less dense? You look at the choices, and let's say it's X. I don't know, and, and calculate. Let's say it's X. And then which one is the A? Liquid at the bottom, maybe it's Z. So you choose X and Z. This is not the correct answer, I don't know. But uh, maybe it's X and Y, maybe it's Y and X. But we'll work it out. But these are table questions. You solve every column of the table separately. Because it's like multiple questions in the same question. هل كلكم فهمتوا how to approach or how to solve multiple choice؟ عشان الناس كتير بتيجي في multiple choice و two تتخض تتلخبط. You tell me, Mister, I don't know how to solve multiple choice. Multiple choice صعبة. I don't know what to do. It's very difficult. Well, it's not. You haven't seen difficult multiple choices yet. وربنا يعني يبعد عنك وكل صعب. بس اللي هو إيه؟ ويسر لك وكل صعب. بس فعلاً it's not that hard if you know how to approach the questions. في الـ AS بالظبط كده في الـ AS ويا لهوي في الماسترز لما كان في دكتور عندنا I, uh, this is off topic كان عندنا دكتور بهدلنا بـ multiple choice questions بس like سقط نص الدفعة في الأول exam عند أكيد الإدارة قالت له like, are you kidding؟ I was like no أنا ما خدتش بالي بس ما خدتش بالك إيه so yeah some, some multiple choice questions are devilish not these these if you know how to approach the question so let's recap number one questions are in the order of the syllabus so it helps that uh, helps you focus on which chapters you're supposed to think of when you're solving step two there are different types of questions which include calculation type questions theory type questions elimination type questions and table questions look at the question in front of you figure out which type and then approach it accordingly and if you're now ready, let's solve November 23.